Good morning, uh, we're down here. It's day one of the uh, Stronger Festival. Granny's pool, we're launching. We're on back of a high tide spring house. We're just waiting for the suck back to get some space to push it. Um, we're going to try and then go and look for some live bait. Hopefully, we can get live bait quite quickly. And then we're going to head up north. Uh, there's been fish coming out all the way up the north coast. We're going to push quite far up today. It's a full day's fishing. We only have to be back at the scales by 5 o'clock. So, we're going to give it a full hot whack today. The weather's looking beautiful. A little bit of rain, but no wind predictive. So, that's the main thing in the season pretty much glassing off. So yeah, we're gonna go and give it a crack. We're gonna see if we can't uh, find that elusive winner. Big croc, big tuna, we're not fussy, whichever one it is. And uh, let's see what happens. I just got absolutely cleaned up there. <laughs> so, we're sitting watching sheep for about half an hour because the sets are rolling in here. There's a lucky little gap on chain rocks right over the, on the rip. But uh, it's, you know, it's not breaking there. It didn't break at all the whole time. I was watching, it was sort of breaking just to the right of it. So there was just a gap you just roll out. Waited, waited, I timed it. Timed it completely wrong. As I got just right near the rocks, got smoked. That was the biggest clean out I've ever taken. Ever. Anyway, yeah. Pulsate a jub jub. Watch, look at the color of this. As it oh, look at that. That's pizza gold. Yeah, it's not the biggest waller. There he is. Look at that. Beautiful. Gonna rig a little walla walla here. I'm gonna use a single here because I've got quite a big mouth, like from the top to the bottom, if you know what I mean. So you're gonna split it. I don't fish too many hooks on this thing. I don't need too many. 
look like a Christmas tree. It's uh, two BKK wrapped here, number fours. Put them in there, put them out to defrost. So I put a um, mozzie there just with a single in the front and then a number four uh, BKK Raptor and back with number four wire on the front, number six power swivel and uh, 14 kilo blood wire in between the hooks. what it is because it uh, took off a little bit slowly and it sort of picked up a little bit of speed so it could be a hammerhead so we'll fight it like a flip one up. Hammer cop. Ugly, ugly nasty hammerhead. Unfortunately, a lot of big showings here. Yeah? Just gonna keep uh, puzzling a little bit more. Unfortunately, I want to have Johnny here. Pretty sure it's the Johnson. I think I'm on a shark here. Yeah? Yes, you never know. Until the thing's right at the boat. Yep. There he is. Yeah, so we, were, we went and tried the high points on the outside and um, there's some good showings there but it, geez, it was just no bite at all. Eh? Could not get a touch with one hammerhead. So we come back in now to Sandy's which is just straight off the Zimkwazi lawn site. And put some water in. The water is very, very good there. Yeah? I must say. The water is very good. Well, yeah, it's actually excellent. And there's a bit of showing down there. We've just gone over a little bit of showing. Yeah, let's um, put some baits out. Let's see what happens. So it's a bit more active than a shark did. Just put the waller back out on the eight ounce. And we just carried on going along this little ledge here. And then Braden, Braden went on. So let's see if we can get it out because it's been a very shark here as well. So I'm just going to pray. But it's good enough for a start. Well done, boy. Shook the hook. Well done. 
Nice boy. It's a start. Definitely not big enough, but it's a start. Yeah, we said we we're going to give a chat to one. I wanted to be back at PG around about one, quarter half past one, because the tides turned and we push him. It's giving me a good time in that area, and the fish came on there in the week as well. On the turn and the push of the tide, so yeah. So, when you go there and then give it a, a last crack there for a big cook. Um, hopefully, we can find one there of about 40 kilos. Yo. Slow down, come off the bag, not too much. Just I know, I'm Ivan. Kuta came, came right we're riding a bait, winding the baits in. I felt, I just got chopped on mine, I got boop, boop and it bounced the bait off the top. And obviously it followed Braden's bait in, and uh, smashed him right next to the boat. And that's why, you know, you've always got to be ready. Don't just tighten up your drag when you're winding in. Make sure that you're always ready, expecting a bite. Winding boy, crank him, mate. You need a bucket? Uh, crank it, boy. Go to the left. Put low to the left. Low to the left. Hi, Brayden. Keep it up. Dad, he's going under the boat. You're on the surface, though. No. Okay. Keep it up. Yeah. Keep it low. Keep it low. He's getting chased, I think. Came up the water. Where's the line? One, one, one. And again. And again. And again. And again. Again slowly, and again, keep going. Keep okay. going. Might have been hit. Yeah, hit. No man! Lovely fish. Hey! Hey, yeah, yeah, you got chowed on the other side of the you got chowed on the other side of the boat there. Okay, so you wanna rig it through both lips. Because you don't want that mouth opening. Now to some lacquer. Turn away it's moving a little bit big. Anyway. I'll do. Yes. Just big enough. Good wing in. It just does, it just stabilizes that bait a bit. I get it lined up nicely. Nice and even. Okay. There you go, look at that. Something like a champion. Way from here. Yeah. Onto some Johnny. Let's move away. And head towards Seville now. Keep pressure, keep pressure. One. Come and take the sunglasses. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. Keep pressure, keep on it, keep on it. Tighten the drag. Tighten the drag, one. Braden's fish up and one nice scoot here, probably about 18, maybe 20 kilos. So we'll see how that fares with the juniors. And tomorrow's another day, so we'll be back at it tomorrow on the water. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get Rory onto a good fish.
Are you ready? Are you ready for the comeback? Yes, we at uh, German Ski Boat Club, day two, Stronger Festival, brought to you by Suzuki SA and the Tau Power Boats. I'm gonna push, we're gonna try and get some bait. And I'm thinking we're gonna head south. We're gonna go down south and see what we can uh, scratch up today. Let's get on the water, let's make it happen. You ain't see him coming, you just heard drums. They've been ready for the battle, any person that comes got the weight of the world on them, yeah, they're too strong. I might have been down, not out. It's on sight, you gon' figure that out. And I might have been down, not out. Only one thing I gotta know now is so are you ready for the comeback? Mackerel around here. Just trying to get a few mackerel in the hatch right on the surface here. I'll be the self made chain, look at my belt. I built this all from the ground up, this all by myself, y'all know. This is the return of the one. You ain't see him coming, you just heard drums. They've been ready for the battle, any person that comes. Cameron Sims is getting gun smoked, yeah? <laughs> it's on sight, you gon' figure that out. And I might have been down, not out. Only one thing I gotta know now is so are you ready for the. We've got uh, Cameron Sims here. Nice GG. Are you ready for the. Are you ready for the comeback? You know we don't want that. Let me see the hands up on the way front back. Yeah, it's the comeback. Are you ready for the comeback? Thank you. Hey, boy. Saying the early bird gets the worm, and we're battling now. So we're late. We one step behind the curb. We're scratching for bait shot. The pipe, the guys we've got earlier, we've got you now. We're showing spot. We've uh, we've taken a bit of a chance. We've come down to uh, to Anstey's. Um, the guys did get fish here a couple of weeks ago, and there's been one or two big fish that have come out here. Um, but it has been quiet the last two weeks, so we have taken a bit of a chance. Um, yeah, that's what you do in comps as well, you know. Sometimes uh, the extraordinary delivers the extraordinary. So we've got some nice uh, mackerel, we've got some, some live mackerel out. We're going to put a wallet out now. Nice wallet trace that we've got made up. Uh, so we've got a big bait out, so hopefully if there's one crocodile lurking here, it's going to come and sell to us. Struggling at the moment, so water's not good, conditions are not great. So we're gonna try and a little bit further south. You see one boat came back from there, which is not a very good sign. But um, yeah, no bite here, so let's move on. Watch out throwing a hook here. Got a big GT. Hey! And release. Oh yeah, lovely one.
Dan Rose. What a tail wrap. Oh, hello, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. Dan Rory. Lucky he was tail wrapped. <laughs> he would have given you gun smoke a lot. We're coming in, we just saw some uh, bait ball come on the surface, next minute just boiling all over it. Raiding through the popper, he went on off. I threw a bait just on the back of the popper. One straight away. I'm do a very big run. He's gonna box me a bit, I think. Him daddy. In a dirty white dress with a fully loaded magazine. Oh, yeah. Woo. She'll be out to you like hands behind a limousine. In that dirty white dress with a fully loaded magazine. Oh. Guess you never know that. Feels Johnny ish. Some of those big feet are quite funny, but this, def this definitely feels like a shock. No. Come around and turn on my other line now. Isn't it funny? Oh yeah, you see. Bad enough now, the ice. Check, you've tangled my line as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh don't bite that line off. I'm getting my arms stretched. <laughs> I was, you know, I was just about to give up, honestly. I know it sounds silly, but I was going to give up on the day. I thought maybe it's just not my comp, and then I got this surprise. Bites back up. Nice fish, Rory. Look at my hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, that's what happens. You gotta persevere. Uh, we were battled this morning, and then yeah, we came back into the cleaner water, and all of a sudden things calmed down. The weather dropped. The conditions got really good. Some bait started coming up, and next month, a couple of explosions. Do some poppers uh, and live bait, and I got the fish up, and we've got three lovely tuna. So we're gonna go back now to the way, hit the beach. We've got an hour and 22 minutes to get back, so we'll catch you there. Into the junior prize, top junior. And I gotta say, I'm very proud. I saw his eyes almost fall out of his head. Braden Kane. Okay, first place. He's one of the quietest guys I know. He's the biggest guy with the biggest heart. He just operates, he just operates in the background. But if you were if you were any in the back three, you sit in the opposition, you definitely didn't want to see him coming around the side. Okay. Place for the tell sharks. No other than Jean Dysel. Yeah. 
on a tuna, 55.72 pages, on a jet ski, weighing himself a Suzuki 100, full stroke, valued 150,000 Rand from Suzuki South Africa and Natal Palm Boats. Awesome, what well enjoy. Lost a few fish, unfortunately. Terminal tackle failure, about eight sharks, the other three. It was horrendous. Where were you Look, fishing? Uh, out at uh, Jex, that area. We only got one. We got we lost two while we were right at the end. So, anyway, we got one out. Who was, was tying the tackle? Huh? Who was tying the tackle? No, no, the camera. The, the, yeah, the duster. <laughs> they put us off. Right? The duster runs to the top. Goes to the top. And they, we, lost, we lost two or three like that. I mean, I got the, the Wahoo, I just got my hooks back in a bunch like this. Done. Uh, very nice, very nice. Always good to be on the water. A little bit frustrating, sharks, but that's fishing, not catching. But we had a good day. Always good to be at Amsterdam Festival. Great sponsors, yeah, so awesome. Thanks very much for hosting the event, and yeah, really, really good. Well, a bit slower, got a dory at Amsterdam, so a dory in April and a kayak's not a bad, bad thing. But lots of kudu yesterday, but lots of fish around, so it was good.